right, good morning. Welcome back. So today is just Dallas day one, moving in, unpacking, all the things. So today I am on my way to go grab breakfast and then I'm gonna go get some coffee and then I'm going to go to the West Elm outlet first. So I'm about to go furniture shopping. So if you watched my last vlog, Ryan and I went to like Ashley Furniture yesterday just to like briefly kind of look at couches because we didn't bring a couch. We didn't bring like dresser, nightstands, a lot of our like heavy furniture. We didn't bring any of that with us. So we are going to be needing some furniture and I feel like my top thing is a couch. But Dallas has a Pottery Barn outlet and a West Elm outlet where you can get, you know, pieces for a pretty hefty discount, I believe. But the thing is, is that if you had, you know, a $6,000, $8,000 couch from like Pottery Barn or West Elm, even 50% off is still going to be an expensive couch. But I want to go to the West Elm outlet first to see like truly just how good the discounts are and see if it's worth it. Cause I've been curious about it since like before we moved out here, I've been curious like just how good of a deal you can actually get. So I'm gonna start there first to kind of know what prices we're working with from a store like that. And then I have saved a couple other stores and furniture stores to go look at. So I am trying to almost do all the research. Ryan's working, so I am going to take pictures, get measurements, and try to kind of pinpoint some good options. <clears throat> Sorry, pinpoint some good options and then go from there and hopefully we can get one ordered like this week. So that is what's going to be in today's vlog. I am terrified of driving in Dallas. Dallas highways are so confusing. I feel like people living in Dallas are gonna be like, what are you talking about? But like Atlanta, has a lot of traffic, but it's very predictable. Dallas roads have a lot of like random moments where like you're driving in your lane and then all of a sudden without any signs that like you're on an exit or like it's about to like, I don't know, like veer off to the right. So I'm gonna say a legitimate prayer. I am going to say a prayer before I travel today. Anyways, let's, let's get this day started. Guess who doesn't have coffee in hand? Okay, guess who doesn't have coffee in hand because she missed her exit because Dallas roads suck. Say it with me, Dallas roads suck. Yeah, I feel like it's really hard to explain like why I hate the Dallas highway so much, but this was the perfect example, okay? So I'm driving, driving along. I know my exit, it's like, okay, in two miles, you're te taking exit 8A, okay? We passed six. We passed seven. My Google Maps is like, all right, stay in the right two lanes to take exit 8A, blah, blah, blah. I'm in the far right lane, okay? I'm in the far right lane. I'm passing all the like, you know, it's in a mile, it's in a half a mile. I'm in the lane that has, you know, the yellow exit arrow that's like, this is the lane that's exiting. So I'm in it, okay? I'm thinking nothing of it. I'm like, I'm good. I'm in my exit lane. Nope. Dallas roads are like a magic act. Like all of a sudden things just like appear. That's what happened. So in Dallas, there's like your main highway that's got like five lanes, your big highway. And then I think they're called express lanes. And there are essentially like two to three lanes that are separate from the highway, but they like follow the highway, like on the right and the left side. So I'm in my lane to exit. And then two of these lanes from the like expressway merge with the main highway and now I'm in like the third lane and I can't get over fast enough because now there's two lanes for me to like quickly get over in order to make my exit and I was like these lanes were like not here and then all of us like I was so close to my exit in the far right lane and all the signs like I said had the little like yellow exit you know arrow above my lane being like this is the lane that you have to be in to exit for 8a and then all of a sudden two lanes like merge and they appear and now it was like i i couldn't get over fast enough and i was like so close to the exit so it wasn't like i had a good bit of time to get over when i say like dallas roads are confusing that's the kind of stuff i talk about you just never know it's like you never know if you're actually like in the lane you're supposed to be in because you never know if something's gonna like pop up out of nowhere. I don't know, I'm peeved. I'm gonna get coffee on the way back though. Everything will be fine. 
I'm not mad about like, oh, I don't have my coffee. I'm upset about driving in Dallas, but I made it to the West Elm outlet. So I'm gonna go in. All right, so the verdict on West Elm Outlet is I don't think it's worth it. Like some of them are still just as expensive as if I brought if I, as if I bought something brand new at like Ashley Furniture or like Haverty's or like other furniture stores. The thing is too is like everything's final sale. So I had seen some reviews online of people who like went here or went to the Pottery Barn outlet and people had like bought things and didn't inspect it well enough at the store and it like broke like as soon as they got home. So like you could be spending a thousand dollars or something on like you know like a dresser or like a nightstand and then it's like you get home and the drawer breaks and they won't return it if you get it from an outlet so it's like i'd almost rather get something that's brand new full price at a cheaper store that like comes with a warranty and so i don't think it's worth it for me but some people i'm sure love it okay i'm getting gas but i just realized that armor coffee owned by jen todrick um or the rambling redhead on instagram if you know the rambling redhead their coffee shop, Armor Coffee, is like like five minutes from where I'm at right now, near the West Elm outlet. So I'm thinking I might go there and try out Armor Coffee because I follow her on Instagram and I have for years and I've always like seen them talk about Armor Coffee and I realized that it's close by to here. So I might go try out their coffee shop. Here she is, some Armor, Armor Coffee. Okay. I got my armor coffee. So I've heard her talk about their like signature flavors. So this one's their cookie butter. And I checked in all of the like syrups they use are dairy free and then I got it with oat milk. Mm. That is good. It kind of tastes like Christmas though. It's got cinnamon in it. But that is good, A plus. A plus. It does remind me of Christmas though. The cinnamon's like giving me Christmas vibes. Now that we've had some, I feel like we've been lingering around. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna do a quick montage of just all the furnitures. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. All right, we're going. Getting down to business. I've got like four furniture stores to go to. So <laughs> let's do it. I rushed through that last furniture store because I had to go do a Kroger pickup. I had placed an order, so I took that home. And then I'm back out and about to go to Sprouts because I forgot to get anything for breakfast tomorrow. So like we don't have like eggs or sausage or anything, uh, like yogurt, anything like that for tomorrow morning. I'll do a little haul when I get home. I'm having a moment of sitting in my car before I go inside and hear my husband be like, we need to budget. Groceries, oh, they're so expensive. And like quality food is so expensive. Like I could cry because especially if you're someone who you've been through all the health journeys and all the health issues, like getting good quality food is like important. Like I'm not being a snob. Like this is for like my health, you know, for me to like feel my best. And so it's hard like emotionally to like pay you know just absurd amounts of money for groceries but then I try to tell myself like would you rather pay money 
for supplements and quality groceries or pay a bunch of medical bills. Like, which one do you want to do? Do you want to eat better? Do you want to exercise? Or do you want to, you know, like, ugh. Anywho, I was thinking that I would unpack more in this video, but our pod was supposed to be delivered today and Ryan called the place to see like what time they would be delivering today. And they were like, oh, your pod might still be in Georgia. Ah, so the pod with like 99% of our stuff in it might not be here till later this week, but Ryan and I kind of planned for that. Like we kind of anticipated that there was a good chance that like there would be some issues with working with like the pod scenario so i packed all of my like you know my air fryer instant pot pots and pans like all of our bowls plates silverware like our our main like kitchen stuff like enough clothes you know our shower stuff you know all the like basics all the necessities we already have so i'm not i'm not freaking out too much about it but i won't be unpacking a lot because there's nothing left to unpack <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna go inside okay what I got from Sprout. So they actually did have my Simple Needs brand of like gluten-free bread, um, which is super exciting. But I did want to try out a different one. This is Little Northern Bakehouse, just like their white bread slices that are gluten-free and dairy-free. So I got that. I got some eggs for breakfast. And then I got bacon for breakfast. This is kind of for my breakfast too, because I got the BioLife, um, this is the mature cheddar slices. I've shared these in a video before, but this is some of my favorite like dairy-free cheese. So I got that kind of for breakfast. And then I got some ham to also do like a breakfast sandwich to do like toast some ham and cheese. And then I got some gluten-free pretzel crisps. And then to eat with that, I got this dairy-free um, borsin, so garlic and herb, like dairy-free spread. So with these two, it's really good. And then I got my Coco June, so the unsweetened vanilla. They had this one. And then these were the two different Elmhurst oat milk. This one is shelf stable, so it's not in like the refrigerated section. And I love this one because it's only filtered water, whole grain oats, and salt. And then the creamer version, I've actually never tried the caramel macchiato. I used to get like the vanilla or French vanilla. And I really just like this brand mainly because they don't use any inflammatory seed oils. So um, they use hemp seed and like a hemp cream is what they call it to kind of thicken it. And it's really good. So instead of using like a bunch of seed oils, they use hemp cream. So that's why I love this brand because they don't use those like inflammatory oils like canola oil, vegetable oil, safflower oil. And that's it, that's all I got from Sprouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. pictures, like some wedding pictures, anticipating the move and wanting to decorate. I ordered um, some pictures, so those arrived. Let's open them. Oh my gosh. I love them. They're so cute. So I got the natural wood color and then I got the size, I think these are 12 by 16s. So I got three of them. I'm thinking that we would hang them like behind the couch, like on this wall somewhere. shopping this evening with Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's obsessed with recliners. Come for a recliner. 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We're thinking maybe this is the winner. Like the relaxed pillow type. All right, we are back home from furniture shopping once again. That is going to be it for today's little vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.